when sure. you're thinking about mental health at work and someone going through depression, anxiety, um, just any sort of mental health issues that one would go through because they're mm-hmm. so prevalent and it's something that we do need to talk about. What can managers and companies do to help and show the support that you have felt from those relationships? What are the common themes that the managers and the companies that have been most supportive, what have they done to be able to help folks, sorry, help you that other mm-hmm. companies and managers need to mimic and mirror? Yep. You know, it's the unfortunate thing is that there is this stigma, right, to mental health. And it's as real as any other illness that's out there, right? It's your mind, it's your body. It's, it's something that is not just addressable by sleeping it in, right? It's not just addressable by going to the gym. It is an absolute beast, right? Some have it in lots of different capacities and scopes. Some are social, some are as deep as it comes. But, you know, I remember being a kid and being 13 and, and being put on medication, right? And going through that and being so ashamed of that. But at the same time, it, it helped me get through what I needed to get through. And then, you know, at the time, and in today's day and age, you know, and I remember telling Jeff, you know, what I was going through and, and all these things personally and what I was dealing with. And I remember him just saying, he's like, what do you need? Right? Like, what is that you need? And maybe that would have been different if I had sucked at my job at the time, right? Like, but, but I think, you know, in the scenario of like, just work, it's so hard and doing all the things that I was doing, like, he knew that I could burn myself out, that it could be, you know, it could be something different. And I remember sitting there because like, to me, work was everything at LinkedIn. Like, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to take time off. I never did. Right. I was always on a plane, some different office, what have you. Um, but he was just like, what do you need? And he just listened right? It wasn't my therapist. It wasn't like that. We just connected. And, and I, I genuinely enjoy talking with him. So to me, it was kind of like, listen, right? It's real. And it's got to be protected, but it's got to be out in the open, right? Some people are not going to be as open. I mean, this is 2019. I've been dealing with this since I was 13 years old. I've been open about it. Obviously, the folks that are close to me in my life, but not at this level, this scale, like a podcast. Um, you know, I remember talking to like, you know, other leaders at LinkedIn and just talking through it. And people asked me like, what are you doing for it? Are you trying to get help for it? I'm like, yeah, I am. Like, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And, you know, there are times where it was and times where it just wasn't working or didn't have time to do it. So I think, you know, from a company standpoint, it has got to be something that is just fully protected and covered. You know, it's got to be open and accepted, right? You know, you want to work in a community where you feel completely included, inclusive, right? It's, it's just, if you're dealing with something, it has to be okay to talk about it. It has to be something that is okay. I mean, I repost all the time on LinkedIn, people talking about being in recovery, right? Dealing with mental health. And even myself, somebody that deals with it, my first initial reaction is always like, oof. But then at the same time, I'm like, you know what? Good for you. Good for you for putting it out there. But not everybody's going to view it in that way. You know, everybody's going to look at it and say, like, you know, good for them. That's pioneering. They're doing something great. You know, whatever post or thing you hear or you read. And there's others that are going to be like, oh, stop. Suck it up. You know, it's like, it's not like that, you know, because when you see what you're capable of doing and you see what happens in that world of dealing with depression and anxiety, it's as real as it gets. Again, you know, to be at LinkedIn and to be where I was and to make the choice to leave for lots of different reasons, right? And in hindsight, you know, I often talk about, like, when people ask, like, do you regret leaving? And the answer is yes, right? And it's not because I feel like the decision was a bad decision. It was because there was too much going on. I was dealing with too much. And at that time, as I look back, I needed that. LinkedIn to me was a family. It was a support system similar to what I was used to. And I made the choice to leave that because I felt I needed change. And that's what this does to you, right? You're trying to solve and fix and do this and do that and deal with your depression. And I felt that was the answer. And it wasn't. But what I am grateful for myself is accepting that, okay, you made this choice, now run with it and do it, no matter how hard it is, like figure it out. So, I mean, I think it's, you know, from a company standpoint, it's like, listen better. I've been in scenarios where I've tried to talk about this, where it was completely and just dismissed. And that is mind blowing to me. So it's out there, that happens. Um, you know, I think talking to your manager about it is real, right? Being able to say like, hey, I am, this is what I struggle with. This is what I'm dealing with. But you have to feel like you can, right? Because if you feel like you can't, then that's a really tough place to be in. So it's this acceptance and understanding on both sides is that it's accepting the fact that that might be the case and at the top and the higher level it's understanding that like you might have people on your team that are dealing with things that are way out of the control of you and it's in their best interest and the company's best interest to help them and support them and i did that with linkedin i mean i remember times there was a shooting outside the empire state building at linkedin and it was like 2012 it really was i'll never forget you know people were still coming in people were in the building it was like complete shutdown lockdown and everybody you know got in the building they were safe and mike gamson dialed in vc of the new york office and he was like, what do you guys need? Whatever you want, you got it, right? Because people were shook by this, and rightfully so. And, you know, that's what you need. That's what people need. People like that, that have empathy, that understand, that can listen, and, and really not try to put yourself in that person's shoes because you just can't. Oftentimes, that's what always happens. People are like, oh, let me just, you know, I don't understand why they're feeling this way. It's like, oh, really? Have you gone through this journey that I've gone through? Have you been dealing with this hereditary illness that we have? Um, you know, it's just, you can't. You have to take yourself out of it and look at it and say, okay, and listen and come back. And say, so, you know what? All right, well, I'm not the one that's going to solve this, but all I can do is be there for them and try to help them out in the best way that I possibly can, right? It's not a matter of screaming from the rooftops like, hey, 
I deal with X, Y, and Z. It's more about saying, hey, look, like I need somebody to talk to. Um, this is what I'm struggling with. It's the same thing you would do if you broke your nose, right? Like you fall on the floor, you trip, your nose breaks. You're just going to sit there and stay at work, pretend like it's not bleeding. No, you're going to go get help. Same thing. And that's the line, or that's the difference, right? It's just they look at it in two different ways. They're not there, but it's looked at in two different ways. And, you know, to me, it's like, again, I'll never forget Jeff just saying, what can I do? And that's what the companies need to do. What can I do?